when you've been through an owner builder process and build a house it's not unusual for areas of mess to get left behind and sometimes because you get involved in a variety of projects over the years you're building different things paths and sheds etc and you'd have a continual need for gravel compost etc this type of mess can get left around but as it's often in a place as this is where visitors see when they first come to the house it doesn't create a good first impression which would you rather look at this mess or these daffodils it's not only visitors that are affected by this but it this type of mess around the place is not good for one's own mental health, peace of mind. So over the last couple of weeks I've been working on a solution to this problem. A place where I can store these supplies that I need and yet have it in a tidier manner that looks more presentable. Samuel seems a little confused as to where to start. But the object was to level out a little bit of ground and build some bays where compost, gravel, sand, crusher dust, that type of thing could be stored. Seem to have a continual need to the, for these when you have projects around the place. Projects like this are a good opportunity for young Samuel to learn how to use tools. He needs a little bit of guidance how to get started. He's not quite strong enough yet, but he'll grow and learn more with time. Time to dig some post holes. I've found over the years that a plumber's shovel with a piece of heavy pipe welded on as a handle is a really good tool for digging post holes. Drives nicely into the ground. Thankfully our soil doesn't have rocks in it and so it's really easy to dig. Initially I was planning to build three bays but as I went on I found that I had sufficient material to build more. Okay, you go and do some sawing? No, yes. It might be good if you turn the saw up the other way, it might work. Samuel? What? It might be good if you had the saw the other way. So so. That's the way. Yes, it was time to get some timber for the posts. Rather than buy treated pine posts, I went for sleepers. Yes, these needed to be cut to size, but they were a lot, lot cheaper than buying treated pine posts. Split down the middle. I got posts that are around about a quarter of the price of what I would have paid and they're still quite adequate for what's needed. The rear posts I simply rammed back in with the clay soil. They're going to be quite strong because of the bracing of the iron and will hold quite well. But on the front I'm using double posts to strengthen it. So I started to put some iron on, try to get it level so it looks a little bit better. Level's always easier to the eye. If you make it off level you are reminded of the mistakes forever. So the double posting concept allows for a couple of things. One, it makes it very strong being, as you might say, laminated together. The other is that it allows you to slide a front in behind. I concreted these front posts because they're going to have quite a lot of outward pressure and ramming them into the soil simply wouldn't be enough. They would have a lot of pressure pushing them apart. Cutting the tops down to level makes it a lot better to look at. On the floor I put some old corrugated iron. This makes it easier to shovel the gravel off 
and it was time to start moving the existing gravel in. Nice to finally see it coming together. To cover the gravel, especially the concrete gravel, this is important, I needed to keep leaves off and I chose to use some clear plastic of the grow house film. The advantage of the clear is that I don't get any surprises hiding underneath in the form of snakes and it easily rolls back when you need to access it. Into this bay I've actually put one and a half meters of compost a little bit more than I probably would normally put into a bay but it's already in use. So this is looking at it from where the mess was and it looks so much tidier now. I can plant a couple of hydrangeas or something in front of it and it will disappear into the scenery. So I'm very happy with the end result.